Hey guys, Luke here, modeling expert, and today we're gonna to cover one of the more popular topics in the modeling industry, and that is social media. So the first question that I'm gonna cover is a pretty common thing that we hear, and that is, do I have to have a lot of followers to become a model? And in short, no, not necessarily. A lot of casting directors like to do what we call a debut, and that is where they're putting new faces on campaigns and runways. They like to put new faces that nobody has ever seen before on these projects. So it doesn't really matter necessarily if you have a lot of followers, unless you're setting yourself up as an influencer, which obviously we will take into account and check out your following at that point. Another question that we get sometimes as agents is, should I have a social media? And yes, of course, I believe that social media can open a lot of opportunities for you as a model. So 100%, I do think that you should have a social media, which leads into the next question that I get and topic that I wanna cover. Should your social media be private? No, your social media should be open to the public. Casting directors do their own research from time to time on certain projects. So they go in and they're actually looking at models' social medias. They wanna see the real you. They wanna see you outside of that portfolio that your agency has put together to see if you are actually a character fit for the campaign or project that they're working on. This leads into the next topic that I like to cover, and that is what should I post on my social media in order to get scouts' attention? I believe personally that you should be posting an equal amount of modeling content to personal content. This creates a nice balance where if a casting director or a scout goes in, yeah, they can see how you photograph professionally, but they can also see the real you. It's so important in the modeling industry that casting directors and scouts are able to see the real you. It's a lot of times what we base our decision off of. Yes, the fancy photos and the portfolios, they play a part in the game, but we're wanting to sign you for you. So I always say post an equal amount of modeling content to personal content. Should you have separate pages just for modeling content? Personally, I don't think it's necessary. A lot of times when I'm scouting myself, I like to see the raw footage. I like to see the real person outside of the portfolio images. It really does help us make a decision if that person has the it factor. So I don't necessarily think that it's beneficial to have two separate accounts. Should you be paying for a separate website as a model? It's completely up to you, but as a scout, I always tell aspiring models, make it easy for the scouts. Post it all together on your social media on one platform. We don't wanna to have to click a million links just to get to the photos that we want to see. Put it all in one place for us. Put your raw, real you photos along with your portfolio images on one Instagram account. You're more likely to get recognized and scouted that way. We don't wanna to have to click a million different links to get to the photos. So in the end, does social media play a major factor in becoming a model? Yes, but not in the way that I believe most people partake it in. You don't have to have a million followers to become a model. You don't have to have seven different Instagram accounts or a website. You don't have to have all of these things. You just need your material in one place looking good and that's how you get noticed as a model. But I do think that it's beneficial that you have social media and that it is open to the public because a lot of opportunities can come from that. I hope that this was helpful for you guys and I'll see you on the next one.